Hello and welcome to Business Insider with Mario Taniguzzi on YYC Business. Joining me today is Greg Kwong, who is Executive Vice President and Regional Managing Director of CBRE here in Calgary. Thanks for joining us today, Greg. Good morning, Mario. So you uh, folks uh, just put out uh, some of your most recent uh, uh, data for the Calgary real estate market uh, for the second quarter. Uh, always of note is the downtown market, uh, which seems to grab the headlines all the time. Uh, let's talk about some numbers there. Uh, minus uh, 266,000 square feet of, uh, of absorption in uh, Q2 and the vacancy rate up uh, up to 32.7%. Is that the highest it's been? Yeah, uh, certainly in the last 30 years, uh, that's the highest number we've seen. Um, I think if you go back to the, the 80s, uh, you, you, you might see a, a slightly, um, a, a number around the same range, but there was a subset of a, a lot smaller amount of space. So uh, the impact of it is, is a lot larger right now. So tell me what's happening, uh, Greg, in that downtown market. Why are we still seeing that vacancy rising? Um, <clears throat> I think you're just seeing the tail end of a of an oil and, and, and gas and basically an energy business that, that's uh, beginning to right their ship. And, and uh, part of that is, uh, you know, cutting costs. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of hiring yet in, in that industry. So, um, but you know, I think brighter days are ahead. Uh, but again, I think it's just the tail end of a, you know, coming out of COVID-19 and, and, um, and quite frankly, oil prices uh, starting to spike up a little bit, you know, into the mid to high, mid to high 70s. Yeah, and I noticed that year to date, uh, the negative absorption is 1.5 million square feet uh, returned to the market. Um, much of that, I, I guess, is it is it a, a lot of uh, well, one of the, you know, Sonovas and and uh, and Husky, for instance. That's that's got to have impacted that and and others as well, uh, other mergers and acquisitions. Yeah, that, that, that merger was the uh, the biggest impact uh, through on, you know, close to a million square feet of uh, vacant space in the first quarter. So um, uh, we, we expect more uh, M&A activity going forward. Uh, nothing to that scope, uh, we believe, but who knows, we could be surprised. Okay, and when you look at uh, some of the, the positive absorption, some of the leasing activity that's taking place uh, these days, uh, one of, I guess, on a positive note, we're seeing uh, we're seeing tech companies coming into the core, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> we're still very much a burgeoning um, uh, tech industry, I guess, as, as it relates to other cities. Uh, certainly, Vancouver and, and Toronto grab most of the of the tech sector, or Canadian tech sector, anyway. But um, and if you look at the number of tech, uh, depending on your categories, but tech tenants. Uh, pure tech tenants uh, in the core. It still represents less than uh, six or seven percent of the overall tenancies, but it's it's growing for sure, and um, and we're certainly seeing a lot of bright lights uh, from that industry that industry as well. As far as okay. And uh, just one last thing about the downtown market. When you look forward to, to the next two quarters of this year, uh, do you expect to see that vacancy continue to rise? Yeah, I think at this point. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if if we hit uh, kind of 34, 35% by the end of the year. Um, uh, ag again, purely because of the M&A activity that's going on. So we'll see a lot more sublease space come on the market. And um, we're still not, uh, there's really no clear sign as to what companies are gonna do as it relates to going back to work or transitioning from the work from home sure. uh, back, to, so, uh, back to the office. Uh, uh, indications that we see right now, and, and they're purely anecdotal, is uh, presidents, CEOs, CFOs are all uh, trying to get their people back to work by, for sure, like September. Um, and But they're also saying that there's a component of their uh, employees that could effectively work from home, you know, back room, um, uh, computer-related uh, employees. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's uh, swing to the industrial market, a, a little different story there, a more positive story when it comes to commercial real estate in the city. Uh, in the second quarter, 2 million square feet of uh, positive absorption, uh, 4.1 million square feet uh, year to date, which is uh, the largest two quarter absorption uh, 
uh, total in over 15 years. Uh, what's happening with that market and why? That's just a, a continuation of uh, when we talked a few months ago, uh, the, uh, the distribution centers that are opening up uh, in, in Calgary. Uh, as I said before, um, I think I said before that uh, almost all of uh, the retailers that are out there right now have a, uh, have a major distribution center in Calgary. Uh, I think I can almost confidently say that all, all of them now have a uh, distribution center here. There's still a few more left, but, uh, you know, but, but uh, companies like, uh, you know, Amazon is the one that's uh, always in the limelight. They're grabbing space left and right. And uh, certainly um, we hear in the news about this is, uh, you know, other companies opening up large distribution facilities. Uh, purely uh, Calgary is uh, situated, situated nicely in the middle of Western Canada. And we are able to, or they're able to get their goods to the consumer's doorstep, you know, within a day. So that, that helps us. So you foresee uh, more of the same for the industrial market as we head into the final two quarters of this year? Um, I, I think uh, the amount of demand will stay the same. Um, what we're seeing is uh, issues on the supply side where, uh, we, we've all heard that the construction costs have, have, have gone up quite substantially and the, and the margins that some of the developers are, are, getting, are, getting, are getting squeezed. So um, they're having trouble keeping up with, with that demand. Um, so that might mitigate the amount of growth uh, ability to, to build a building to accommodate some of this demand. So we'll see. It's still wait and see. But if you talk to all the developers out there, they're still they're struggling with that, uh, that margin squeeze. All right. Super. Thanks, uh, Greg, for joining us today. Thanks, Mario. All right, that was uh, Greg Kwong, who is Executive Vice President and Regional Managing Director for CBRE in Calgary. This has been Business Insider with Mario Tanaguzzi on YYC Business. Thanks for joining us today.